Hello and welcome to MyCatSite.com and here's a video from tutorial 2-2 and this one's going to teach you the very basics about blocks and blocks are very powerful uh, objects in AutoCAD and as the more you learn about them the more you'll see that but for now I'm just going to get you started by showing you how to create them and why they're used. Right now I have uh, something representing a computer, the top view and you can see that each of the objects is individual uh, it's just made up of lines and rectangles and if I want to move it I have to select them all instead of just <clears throat> selecting a single object which will soon be a block so I start the block command B enter and there's three things I need I need to give it a name in this case computer and then I need to pick a point that it's going to be its base point and you'll understand where that comes in in a moment so I've picked the middle of the bottom I could pick any random space but I want the midpoint at the bottom and now I need to tell AutoCAD what objects are going to be part of that block so I go to select objects and I'm just going to draw a box around the whole thing to make sure I get all the objects to represent my computer so now I've got it I just hit OK. After a quick review, everything looks good. So now I've turned it into a block. So now if I select it, you'll see that it has only one grip, and that's right at the bottom, and that is my base point that I selected when I was creating it. So now I can move it. I can start the copy command and just select one object, and that's the block and so now I've got three objects all based off of the block definition called computer so if I want to erase it highlight it do anything to it I can select any part of it and all those objects will be modified so once again that's just insert make sure my insertion point is there and now I want to bring another one in instead of just copying it over and I've chosen to select my own rotation angle so now you see my base point is also my insertion point so I've picked and rotate and there it is on its side and that could be for the top view of a desk that's angled the other way for example two objects two blocks one's rotated differently but it's the same object so now I'm going to explode the first one I drew and you'll see that it's back to all its individual parts the first one the one I inserted is still one object and now I'm going to modify this and let's say instead of the big screens we've got just a flat screen monitor that I'm looking down on top of now and all the computers have been changed to have the flat screen so using my block command I create it just the same way select all the objects again and what I'm doing is redefining this block to show that it now has a flat screen so it tells me it's already defined and there's one in already in there and as soon as I hit OK it's turned that into a block but also changed the other block to show that it now has a flat screen and that's where blocks come in to be very powerful because you can have a drawing that might have several hundred blocks that all of a sudden because of a de design change need to be modified so rather than modify several hundred objects all over the drawing and finding them you can just modify one block and that'll change everything and that'll be for example like the chair that you'll be drawing in the next one it could chair design could be changed so now I've just modified this to a smaller computer and I'm going to create a second block and I'm just going to call this one computer small for obvious reasons and once again I want to pick the same base point as the other one just to keep things consistent and then select all the objects and hit OK and this will now give me two blocks with two different names so now I've got on the left computer small and on the right computer so thanks for watching and stick around for more block videos from mycadsite.com